Well, tell me, Dr. Mead, is, is our baby okay? Doctor. So this Jesse Graves character, he was the father of Maya's child, right? The one who was killed in the car accident with her adoptive parents? He's also the reason Maya was in jail. You know what? She's not exactly a Girl Scout. She's got a pretty good rap sheet here all of her own. Well, the judge thought that Jesse was a bad influence on Maya. One of the conditions of her release, a restraining order. She has to keep at least 500 feet away from him. Or she goes back to prison. If someone can prove that she violated the restraining order. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Tonight. I have not been to a club in months. It's because I haven't been in town, but I'm back and I'm DJing, son, and you're coming tonight. No getting out of it, Forrester. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I'm in. Yeah, nice. So you're gonna bring the girl from New York? Caroline? That girl is so pretty. Man, is she a handful, I tell you. You know last time she made a bouncer cry. Yeah. Yeah, she seems to have that effect on some people. No, I'm thinking about bringing this new girl that I'm seeing, if I can get her to come out. And let me tell you, she's something special. Yeah. Uh, who is she? Right now? Oh, uh, I can come back. No, 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 come in. Actually, I have a proposition for you. Maya, I would like you to meet my good friend, Othello. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Maya. Maya happens to be one of our new spokesmodels for Hope for the Future. Oh, I can see why. Congratulations, Maya. Thank you. Othello is an awesome DJ who happens to be spinning at a hot new club on Melrose. And I was thinking that maybe you and I could go check him out. Tonight? Oh, tomorrow. What, do you got plans already? Um... Uh... Come on, if you don't come, you'll hurt my feelings. You see, you, you're gonna hurt his feelings. Well, you don't wanna hurt his feelings. What do you say? I don't think it's a good idea. You have a plan. Caroline mentioned she was going to a club tonight. She said Rick will be there. She thinks Amaya will be there as well. Even after you wanted to stay away from Rick? She's an ex-con. It's in her DNA not to follow the rules, to make stupid decisions. I guarantee you she'll defy my orders and show up with Rick tonight. So, how do we do this? When she shows up at that club, she is going to immediately bump into an old friend. Jesse Graves. Call him, get him there, and make sure there's a camera. Maya wants to mess with me, make my niece miserable, Maybe a couple of years back in prison will teach her that that is not a very good idea. As you know, your wife was in a very serious motorcycle accident. Yeah, no, no, I know, but Steffi's gonna be okay, right? She's gonna be fine. I'm hoping that she'll make a full recovery, but she does have some head trauma, and we'll know more once she comes out of it. Okay, but you still haven't told me about her baby. Doctor, please tell me that our baby's gonna be okay. I see no evidence of a heartbeat. I'm sorry, Leo. It's gone? This baby's gone? I'm afraid so. Steffi took a very hard fall off that motorcycle. <laughs> I believe that the baby was lost in impact. 
we're lucky that your wife is doing as well as she is. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm gonna call Dr. Hayes. Okay. Done. Jesse's meeting me at the farmer's market. Nice. Good job. So what do you sound like? A prison punk? Very polite. Curious. Nice voice. Polite, curious, and a nice voice. What is it with you and this attraction to lowlifes? It's no attraction. How about Deacon Sharp, huh? You had a little crush on him, didn't you? No, I didn't. Right. All right, well, this one, off limits. Go fulfill your bad boy fantasy somewhere else. I do that every day working with you. Well, flattering your boss isn't going to get you a raise. All right, you know what you're going to say to this guy, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, it isn't what you say. It's what we offer him. 10 Gs. Make sure Maya Avant is no longer a problem for Caroline. Do a good job. Here's five for you. That's why you put up with me. Look, I really like it if you came out tonight. Rick. It'll be fun. I promise. It'll be a night that you'll never forget. How can you say no? He's a very persuasive salesman. Then it's sold. You're coming. I haven't said yes. And you haven't said no. Yeah. Cool girl. I can see why you're into her. Yeah, she's pretty incredible, isn't she? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, nice. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to see how many likes you have again? Or... Yeah, I have 270 on my last post. Popular girl here. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I am so excited about your show tonight. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm on my way down right now. Okay, awesome. Well, hey, could you make sure that we get a really great table? <laughs> Anything for my boy, Rick. <laughs> Listen, I'm out. Um, anyway, good luck trying to figure out what you're gonna wear tonight. <laughs> I just got a message from Dr. Mead. Is Steffi okay? She had an accident no, on she, a motorcycle? She's okay. She, yeah, she's still unconscious, though. Oh my God. She, where is she? Um. She's in there. No, no, oh, no, no, no. They, they actually asked me to wait out here. They're, um, they're doing a procedure. A procedure? What, what happened? I only heard part of the message from Dr. Mead. What, what is it? Is she okay? I mean, she, yeah, she's, she's banged up, but doctor says she's gonna be okay. What about the baby? Excited. This is exactly what we need, like a wild night out. I already know what I'm gonna wear. It's stunning. You're gonna be blown away. Caroline, I've already asked Maya to come. Oh. Okay, yeah, I mean, the more the merrier. It's great. I don't I don't think you understand what I'm I'm saying here. No, I'm I'm totally okay with Maya coming. Really, I, I think that it would be a great experience for her, you know, and if if she needs to borrow something to wear, I'd be happy to help. Yeah, okay, Caroline, what I'm saying is is that you and I, we, we, we've gotten to a, a place now where I think that... Rick, I, I get it. Look, you don't want tonight to be a date night. That's 
that's so fine. You want like a big, lively group of friends and I am so in. You know, we'll get a big table and a magnum bottle of champagne. It's gonna be like the most perfect night. Except for the nights that I get to be alone with you. But we'll do that this weekend. Tonight is about friends and fun. It's gonna be fabulous. Uh, Allison. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, why'd you want to see me? You said on the phone that we had a mutual acquaintance. Who might that be? Maya Avant. What about her? She's gonna be in a nightclub tonight in Hollywood. I want you to talk to her. No. <laughs> she can't be around me. So who exactly are you? D did she ask you to find me? You two are very close once. You must miss her. What do you want, really? She's gonna be there with some friends. One guy in particular. Him. I want you to find a moment when Maya's alone and talk to her. Nope, I can't do that. Care to rethink your answer? The doctor said it probably happened right away. I'm so sorry, Liam. I know how much you both wanted this baby. Uh, I can't even think about it, you know? It doesn't make sense. I mean, this morning, Stephanie and I were picking out colors for the nursery, and now she's laying in there, and our baby is gone, and I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Did you call your father? No, not yet. I just want to go in there and be with my wife, you know. Well, the nurse said it'll be just a couple more minutes. How do I tell her? I mean, what do I say when she wakes up? I, and why the hell was she on a motorcycle? I mean, she, she drove her car to Thomas's. Oh, he was, he was keeping the bike for her, so she must have decided to just ride it back home. You know, we were gonna have a barbecue, our first barbecue. <laughs> Kept wondering where she was. Mr. Spencer? Yeah. You can see your wife now. So all I have to do is talk to Maya. That's it, nothing more. That's the deal. Half now, half when the job is done. Fine. Your dress is in here? Yes, don't be late. Done. Good girl. You get to keep your $5,000 bonus. Maya Avant. You're about to get a blast from the past. And then it's back to the big house. I'm sure it'll be a great time. I'm just not sure I should go. Why? Okay. Give me one really solid, legitimate, ironclad reason. I can think of a few. Okay, so I'll pick you up. I'll take you home. 
And I'll make sure it's one of the best nights of your life. What about Caroline? She's not going to be happy. I sure don't want to be on the receiving end of that, and I don't want you to be either. I'll keep telling Caroline that I want to be with you until she listens. I've already told her that you're coming. Don't make me look like a liar. I wouldn't want to do that. And don't make me beg. OK. I'll come. You will? Yes. It sounds really cool, actually. A night that you'll never forget. I'm so glad that you're coming. Damn, I got to put out a fire. So I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at 10? 10? Yeah, 10. You get ready for a late night. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I think you are a woman with secrets. And were those secrets to be revealed, your life here would change dramatically. You have done things. Nobody around here knows what those things are. And we can keep it that way if you stay away from Rick Forrester. Steffi? Liam and I are here, We're right here with you. You can wake up. Okay, can you wake up now? It scares me she's been out this long. Dr. Hayes, I'm assuming that Liam filled you in? Yeah. I'm very sorry. She does have a slight concussion, but no brain bleed. If she weren't wearing a helmet, she wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, she always wears her helmet. No broken bones, vitals are stable. Hemorrhaging seems to be under control from the procedure. Just need her to wake up. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Steffi, you heard the man. Gotta wake up. This little nap of yours has gone on long enough. Come on. Open your eyes. Come on, can you hear me, Steffi, please? Wake up. Is that okay? It's okay. You can wake up. You okay, sweetie? There you go. There you go, hi. Liam. What happened? Oh. <sighs>